What's up, everybody? JJ Shankles, the Goat Toasters, back again with your daily tech news Monday edition. Today, we're going to start off with some news from Red, the camera company making cinema cameras. Their new Red Komodo is supposed to come out as a budget friendly option, but a big question has been how budget friendly is it? We do know it's going to be $6,000 for the 6K version in black, and if you want it in colors like white or a variety of other colors, we don't know exactly what those colors are, but those are going to be priced at $7,000. It's all your economies of scale here when they're producing more black bodies they can produce them for cheaper nasa has just announced that their lunar digging tool has been crowdsourced they put out a challenge to universities or just designers who wanted to work on designing a moon digging robot and they've announced the winners on that it's really cool to see nasa working with projects like this allowing outsiders to develop for them if they want to because it's a, you get to develop for NASA. Of course you're going to want to do that. Now onto some electric car news. The fastest electric drag car just passed 200 miles an hour. Not right now, but it set the record of going over 200 miles an hour, setting a new record for electric vehicles. And this blew out the previous record of 189 miles an hour by going 201 miles an hour. Super cool to see how quickly electric car technology is advancing and how quickly we're gonna, just gonna get faster and faster electric cars moving forward. Do you have kids or no kids that are gonna be stuck inside during 2020? During the summer after school ends and people don't have classes, to, a lot of summer classes and summer camps are turning into online camps and the company UB Tech has you covered for online robotics camp. It's been interesting to see how different companies are switching to the virtual space and how even summer camps are this year going to be affected and have to be online this time. Well, the sun is just not cooperating with exposing this shot. So the sun keeps moving in and out of a cloud, so we had to move over here a little bit. Updates from Google Chrome. Two big updates this time. The first major one is how you can manage tabs. It allows you to group tabs into one large lump. If you're anything like me, you probably have at least five to ten tabs at minimum going at all times. And the longer I'm web browsing, the more and more tabs I acquire. So this is huge. You can now lump them all into one group tab. When you click on that tab, it expands and opens up more tabs. This is gonna be great for just managing your tabs and getting things more organized because when you get too many tabs, they get so small you can barely even read them if, you, if they have any text at all. The other big Chrome update is to block ads on Chrome that were using your computing power to mine cryptocurrencies. So if Chrome felt like it was slowing your computer down, it might have just been the ads on there were taking part of your CPU power and mining cryptocurrency through that. It's super cool to see Chrome being able to actually be able to do that. I didn't know that an ad could do that or that they could target and block those ads, but really cool to see Chrome working to help the user out to give you a better experience. New news from China saying that they could move against Apple and Qualcomm in defense of Huawei since US has put bans on Huawei and expended those bans out for a whole nother year. China's retaliated saying that they could just block some of our manufacturers. It's unsure exactly what they mean by these statements, but we do sell a lot of our tech over in China and if we're going to block their tech, then they could just as easily turn around and block us, which would hurt our economy. This is going to be interesting to see how it moves forward, how we are turning into such a global economy. When one country blocks another country, it, it does ripple back and forth. But talking about global taxes and tariffs, France is moving forward with the Apple tax. It's not just a tax on Apple, it's a tax on four large tech giants. It targets Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. France was planning on join, joining with the EU to make sure these large tech giants can't create tax havens inside the EU to miss out on paying taxes. And they had planned on waiting to the end of this year to get things ironed out to make sure they were able to impl implement it correctly. But now with the state of 2020 being how it is and everyone's economy is a little shaky, France just decided to go forward with the movement and put in place these Apple taxes now. Apple has released two new Pride editions of their sports bands for their Apple Watches. These come for 2020 Pride Month. Apple's been doing things like this since 2016 was their first Apple Watch for Pride Month. They released those special edition watch, watch bands Bands only to employees and now they're selling them outright. It's cool to see a company as large as Apple taking a stance on something like that and these watch bands look pretty slick. That about wraps it up for our Monday edition of Tech News. A little bit of a slower day today but I want to thank you for sticking around. If anything I said was infactual or if I missed any stories today put them in the comments below and I will mention it in tomorrow's episode and while you're down there hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps this channel out with the YouTube algorithm. Hope you guys have an amazing day out there. Stay safe, wash your hands a lot and I will see you back here again tomorrow. Go Toaster out.